2017 Chevy Traverse radiator and cooling fan replacement. Let's start by removing our lower radiator hose. We're doing this so we can drain the coolant out of the system. We're going to compress the clamp. Make sure you have a container ready so coolant doesn't spill everywhere. And only do this on the cold engine. We're going, to, we're going to remove that trim piece so we can have access to pull the holes of the radiator. And now let's remove um, the upper piece over the radiator in um, the condenser assembly. It is held by a bunch of about 10 push pins. You're going to use this tool or a fabulous screwdriver to pop them off. We're going to remove this is on both sides of the engine there it is it's loose ready to come out now we need to remove those t15 there's about four of them and we're going to remove the wheel liner now we move it completely it's held we only remove about three or four T15 on each side, the driver side and the passenger side, just so it can be loose. And we're gonna go underneath to remove T15 that from the bumper that hold the bumper to the wheel liner, and any 10 millimeter. We need to remove that. It's on both sides, driver and passenger side. You do the same thing. Now the bumper is ready to come out. Make sure you pay attention to wiring harnesses when you're removing the bumper because there will be a few that for the headlamp or fog lights. Don't pull too hard on it, just pay attention to them. Now let's remove the support piece that hold the bumper in place. It's a 10 millimeter. We're gonna remove that one and there is a few up if you on top of it. You need to remove those and it's Ready to come out. Let's remove this wiring harness from the bumper reinforcer. And pop this push pin from the bumper reinforcer. There it is. We need to remove the bumper reinforcer. It is held by about 10, 15 millimeter bolt. They're all 50 millimeter. There it is. Now let's pop the condenser off the radiator assembly. You need to push those those pin, and the condenser will pop out. There it is. It is loose. Now let's remove the upper radiator hose. You're gonna use a tire like this to compress the clamp so you can remove the upper hose let's remove the regular support it is a 10 millimeter remove the bracket there is one on each side of the radiator the, the passenger side and the driver side now we're going to remove our transmission cooler line. Pay attention to the next clip on how to remove the sick clip. The idea is to remove the sick clip and when you're done, it will go the transmission cooler line out of it. You're gonna use, gonna use a, a pick so you can pop the sick clip out of it. Let's remove those trim pieces on, on both sides. Now let's remove our power steering cooler. You don't have to remove it completely, just loosen it. It's two 30 millimeter nut. Just remove them and you'll be free and so you can have more, more room to work. Just swing it on the other side. There it is. Now we're going to remove those push pins 
that hold the lower part of the bumper. There's about six of them. There it is. Now everything is loose. Let's take our way here out. We can leave the condenser hang like this. Remember to put those insulation back in the frame. We're going to inspect everything and mount our new cooling fan to the to new radiator and transport all the bolt nuts and bolt from the old cooling fan to the new one. Here they are, if you 10 millimeter and C15, transport them. I meant transfer, not transport. All right, everything is ready. We're going to put it back in place. We're going to put those air deflector back in. You're going to put them in place and push the push pins. There it is. Make sure everything is right. Push them into place. Now let's put our power steering cooler back in place. Let's put the hose back in the radiator. We're gonna put all the holes, the lower holes the, and the upper holes. Make sure they're fully secured to the radiator. You do the same thing at the bottom. Let's put our transmission cooler line back in the radiator. You're gonna push it, you're gonna hear a click. When when you hear the click, that's means it's fully seated. There is two of them and align them to the bracket. Let's plug our cooling fan and put our with you the support bracket back in place. It's two of them, 10 millimeter. Let's put the air deflector back on the new radiator. Now it's time to fill the cooling system with coolant and start the vehicle. Watch the next clip to know how to bleed the cooling system. It's the same procedure on most GM vehicles. Just pay close attention to it. It is crucial. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. First and foremost, you take the cap off. Take the cap off, right? You have a funnel like this. And you have a 50-50 mix coolant. You can buy a straight from um, from the auto pass store already pre-mixed, or you can buy the concentrate one and mix it with water. 50% coolant, 50% water, which is what I have right now. I already mixed it. So we're going to fill the cooling system until the cooling bottle go all the way up, all right?
There it is. Just like that. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to start the vehicle. As you can see, guys can see the air bubble already coming out, right? We're going to start the vehicle and let the engine temperature reach the um, normal operating temp. We are in the vehicle right now. We are about to start it. Okay. And when, when you start it, you're going to put the heat on full high, right? Like this. And let's turn off the AC and put the fan on full high like this, right? So you'll need to monitor the temperature. Let the car run for 10 to 20 minutes with the um, coolant reservoir cap off, right? And let the temperature reach to the normal operating temp, right in the middle. The normal temperature should be 210. So when you reach that, with the cap off, you see no more air bubble coming out of the bottle, meaning it's already bled. In the case of this vehicle, it came in already hot, so I just replaced it. Um, and I can already feel the heat kicking in. That's what you want. So when you reach the middle, you're going to have um, heat. The heat going to be very hot coming out the vent. That means it's already bled. Um, let's go check out the bottle. You guys can see here, the coolant level dropped to the middle. That's what you want. And have a fear for the cooling holes. The thermostats are open yet because it's cold. Okay. And let it run for like 20 minutes with the cap off. And when you're done, put the cap back on. Make sure the temperature doesn't go past the middle. Um, if you put the cap back on and, and go for a drive. That's all there is to it guys. It's a pretty easy process. Um, if you guys have any question, you can comment. And um, I'll post the link for the part they did for this. The coolant and the thermostat. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.